Oh, we're going. We're going. Hey, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Well. We're here, of course, celebrating the daytime Emmys and this wonderful gifting suite. And now I'm just, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm here with two beautiful people here, but I'm, I am drawn, excuse me, to these gorgeous, oh wait, excuse me. You <laughs> blew it. <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> Your name is? My name is Marsha. Yeah. And I'm Canel. Now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at the name, and I have our. How do you see it? Because I'm, I see Tahiti. Because I'm thinking of Tahitian pearls. Okay, uh, the line is called Tahizea, ah. and it's more of a concept than it is a brand of Tahitian black pearls out of French Polynesia. We deal with uh, the signs, the images, tattoo language of the French Polynesian people. That's so, kind of interesting, the tattoo language of the French Polynesian people incorporated into jewelry? That is correct. Um, and we deal with uh, rubber with pearls for the surfers, kite flying, oh, uh, kite leather, flying. the leather with a pearl for the clans, um, sterling silver and pearls, and then, of course, full strands of pearls with silver. It's really kind of eclectic. So there is a basically a story to almost pretty much every piece. It's just not a piece of jewelry. Well, I'm it looking, is different. It is, because I'm looking at this jewelry here, and it's pretty unusual. Because, uh, first of all, I mean, you don't typically see pearls, for example, in this type of design. Well, uh, actually, you'll never see anything like this because there is nothing else like it. Um, there's a whole story behind these uh, pieces. For example, if you walk over here and you see the full strand of pearls, you see the clasp is different. You have a flat clasp and then you have more of a wavy clasp, meaning that the lagoon water is rolling up onto the flat sand on the beach. Oh, what a nice story. Thank you. And I'm also looking at I'm looking at this bracelet over here. It looks like a cuff, but is that part of which bra where it, which one? This re it does remind you of the ocean when you look at the design. Canal. Uh, it's the uh, cutout bracelet. Oh yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's it reminds all the like curve or waves, and you know, so we have like every piece are like uh, I have a mean has a meaning behind it. So do you have some favorite pieces, or have, have there been some favorite pieces of the celebrities here today? Well, the celebrities that have come by so far, again, they're fascinated by this line. I do. Um, I am. I love pearls. And, and You don't traditionally see them this way. Oh, and the stores that buy this yeah. um, s blow it out in no time. Okay. Is it available Just, here in the U.S.? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And um, generally, it is uh, in the ocean areas. I have a fabulous store in Carlsbad that just uh, bought the line. He's creating it in yeah. his store. And uh, Manhattan Beach, I have a marvelous store there. And Tennessee and Cape May, New Jersey. And what if you're not near any of these stores? Can you buy them online? Yes, you can, can buy yeah. it online. Uh, there is a website that does uh, come out of Paris, actually. Really? Because the main office is, of Tahizea is based in Paris, France. Well, they're, they're gorgeous. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm sitting here. Okay, I have to admit, I'm sitting here listening to you talk, and I'm staring at the jewelry. <laughs> Then we have. I then we must give you a. We must give you a present. <laughs> Ooh, but well, you know, part of it is it's not just because they're beautiful. They're stunning. This is and they're I, unusual. Part, and they're unusual. They're I unusual love pearls, pieces. And you do not see them like this. No, you don't. Yeah. No, you don't. And the the jewelry, the Tahitian black black pearl itself sells the line. Yeah. Um. It is the focal point of the piece. Yeah, it is, and it's and it's quite obvious. And you also, I mean, the the pearls you've used, you've used some very nice pearls. Yes, yes, 
the pearls are Baroque and semi-Baroque pearls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you use some of the larger pieces, although you use some of the, the small ones too, what, like a six millimeter? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it depends on the pieces. Some have like bigger pearls or like on necklace and like prettier pearls. And then when it's on leather, for example, we'll use different pearls. And then we use very tiny pearls called keshi on some pieces like this one, for example. So it's like, this is natural pearls. So. They're, they're for adornment. But meanwhile, you've got to check them out on the internet. The website again is? www.tahizea.com. Thank you. Thank you. They are the beautiful.